Hi there, my name is Jay with CompuMatter and also I've got a dog right outside that door and as soon as I start talking he starts barking. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jay Lepore and I am with CompuMatter and also with ServerMatter and the purpose for this video is to talk about a script that I'm going to provide for you that is a network scanner in Linux and it can be used from the command line. I have searched and searched and searched and have not been able to find something that scans the network, provides me ideally with MAC address, IP address, uh, host name, work group or computer um, or a domain name and perhaps the manufacturer of the device. Uh, in some cases, Windows computers, when trying to access them from a Linux system, um, they've got a firewall block. The ports that are available uh, sometimes provide you what's called a net buoy uh, access to their host name, but sometimes uh, that feature is not turned on or it's blocked, and so you can't get it. So I've hobbled together a number of different uh, technologies to deliver the end result. Now in my case, I am also using ISC DHCP server on my uh, Linux server. You don't have to be doing that, but if you are, and if your, your Linux server is serving the DHCP, is a DHCP server for your business, then we can query that leases file as an additional option to pull in uh, host names that might not be, otherwise be available. So that said, let me demonstrate to you what you got here. And you can see it very quickly. Scans the network and starts building a list. All right, and that's kind of what it looks like when it's done. You've got five comms. Now, work group and domain, sometimes it's not going to be on either. And so you're not going to have anything there. But if it detects it, it'll pick it up for you. These items with asterisks next to them, uh, that means it wasn't able to get a host name via traditional scans from Linux, and it had to rely upon my ISC DHCP server. So if you're not using that, you won't get those host names, but you'll still get the IPs, the Macs, the manufacturer, and the domain information. Uh, so you may have something that works better, and if you do, I'm all ears, and we'll, uh, we'll look at that. But I certainly haven't found it and I've been looking for a long time. Let me dig into the script a little bit just to show you what that is. So we start off by making sure that Nmap is installed in the system. We let you know if it's not. You've got to be a root user. We're going to check for that. Uh, we're going to see if you have a lease file uh, for DHCP leases. If you do, we'll include that. If not, we'll pass it by. Uh, we detect what your default interface is, so we can uh, use that you can edit this script and you can change it manually if you prefer, but otherwise it's going to detect it on the fly and use it. Um, here we use Nmap to scan your entire network and come up with a list of IP addresses that we stuff into an array and then we start working on them one at a time using this command right here, nmap script nbstat.nse and then a couple other ports that we need to uh, check to get the information we need and the IP address and then it, whatever it gets it adds to the uh, table that you've seen displayed below. And as it says at the bottom no warranty as is I just want to give something back to the world uh, because I'm always out there getting something from the world from somebody else like you that's provided something for free. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you're interested in getting more of this sort of thing uh, before anybody else, hit subscribe and you'll be the first to know about it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.